All right, now let's get into everybody's favorite, and that is latitude and longitude. And this is going to be uh, very useful on your exam because there are going to be at least a handful of questions related to charts and reading Latin long, figuring out where airports are and things like that. So to do this, again, we're going to be using Sky Vector because it's a very useful tool to uh, visualize and move charts around on a computer. Um, we're going to go ahead and zoom in here on the, uh, the western part of the states only because, and that was way too much zoom there, only because um, it's a little easier to see some of those lines when you're not in densely populated areas. So this particular area happens to be, okay, we'll pick this one. This is out in Nebraska, North Dakota, or excuse me, South Dakota. And again, we're looking at our, our little uh, crosshairs here in the middle. Now, the globe, if you've ever looked at the old globe in a classroom, the uh, globe is actually divided in quadrants. And we have... 360 degrees of longitude. Those are those long lines extending from the North Pole to the South Pole, and they go around in equal um, sections around the globe. The lines that go from the, the equator up to the North Pole and the equator down to the South Pole are known as long, uh, lines of latitude, or think of lay or latitude. Um, they're laying flat on the map where the longitude are long ways across the globe. So 360 degrees around longitudinal, 90 degrees starting at the equator being zero, going up to the North Pole, 90 degrees, and zero going down to the, uh, the South Pole, 90 degrees as well. So what does that mean for us? Well, the good thing is we're north of the equator. So everything in the U.S. is going to be, and if you see up here where this little uh, crosshair is above South Dakota, we are north 43 degrees, 2 minutes, 20 seconds, and so on. And then everything that is west of the zero uh, line of longitude, and the zero line is actually in Greenwich, England, and it's also where GMT or Greenwich Mean Time comes from. That is our reference point for the zero degree longitudinal line and we'll actually let me zoom back here just for a second so if we're located right here where this is and the lines of longitude go around when you get over here to england you'll be at the zero degree longitude line so everything to the west of that is considered a west uh, longitudinal line and everything to the east is considered east so again, when we zoom back in here on the states, we are west of that zero degree longitudinal line and we're north of the equator. So we lucked out. We only have to remember N and a W for our coordinates. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the map and actually look at how these are depicted on a chart. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice that the longitudinal lines, these are the lines that are going vertical, the number is laying on its side. The top of the number, know that the direction of the next highest number is going to be above it. So if we're looking, if we turn our head left, we're looking here at 101. We know that 102 is going to be the next highest number. And if I go the opposite direction, I know that 100 degrees longitudinal is going to be the lower number. Now between each number, so between 100 and 101, there are 60 minutes, just like a clock. So if I'm at 100 degrees <clears throat> and two minutes, I would be approximately right here. So every 10 minutes, there's a long hash mark or a tick mark. So that's an easy way to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. And that's the way that you can get there very quickly by calculating the, the hash marks. Now, if you got to do the individual ones, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So between each degree, again, in this example, 100 degrees to 101 degrees, there are 60 minutes of longitudinal. Now, the same goes for uh, latitude. So we're looking at the 100 degree and the 101 degree longitude lines. 
Now you'll notice over here the, the flat line or the latitude line we have 44. Now this is an example where I have a chart here where I cannot see which way is up or down. I don't know if this is 43 down here or 43 is up here. Just know that if you're reading the number right side up, above the number is going to be higher. So if I pull this down, we're going to see 45 show up here in just a second. And there it is right there. So 45, if I come down, here's 44. If I come down here, I'm going to see 43. And again, 60 minutes between the two um, uh, radials. So you have 100 degrees to 101. We've got 60 minutes. We have 43 to 44. We also have 60 minutes. So <clears throat> in the case of, let's pick this airport right here in the center, Rosebud. I'm going to put the, you notice a little crosshair right there. I'm going to put the crosshairs right on there. And you'll notice that the, the coordinates are north 43 degrees, 15 minutes, 51 seconds. And west 100 degrees, 51 minutes, 41 seconds. And if you think of those seconds as 60 seconds in one minute, that will allow you to break down the space between um, minutes. So if this is, you know, for instance, if this was a one minute line right here, uh, the next minute would be the next minute and in between would be 60 individual lines. And that's what that small figure is after the dot and here in the upper right hand corner where I'm showing the Latin long. So let's look at this. How did we get to north 43? Well, let's find the uh, again. We're on the 43 parallel uh, right here. And it will come over to, we're going to follow this line over. So we're on 43. So we're going to write that down 43 degrees. And you'll notice that the next number is 15 minutes. So we're going to come up here 15 lines. Now know that you can cheat because you get the long hash line. That is 10. So I'm going to go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And you can see that this line right here pretty much corresponds it's a little bit below and that's where we come into that additional 51 seconds so if I took the 15 uh, minute mark and went 51 seconds which would take me almost to the next to the 16th uh, minute mark right below that and I came over that's right in line right so that's how we got 43 15 minutes and 51 seconds now what about uh, the, the uh, west part, right? So we need to now find, uh, we've got the 43, so that got us to the 43, 50, uh, 15, 51. Now we need to find out how we get the 100 degree 51, 41 seconds. So again, here's our 100 down here. Here's our 101 here. Now you could do this two ways. You could count up from 100 and go all the way over or you could start at 101 and just back your way up and just subtract knowing that it's going to be the 100 degree parallel because if you haven't made it to 101 yet, you're in the 100 degree and you have to do 100 and then so many minutes. So in this case, it's 100 degrees and 51 minutes is what it says at the top. So let's see how we got there. We know that these are 10 minute marks. So we know that this mark is the 50 right here because it's 10 more and we're at, we're at the next uh longitudinal uh, degree. So 50, 1 would be this tick right here, and it's 41 seconds, which would be slightly less than halfway to the next one. And if I come straight up, look where I'm at. I'm right there. So we got 43 degrees, 15 minutes, 51 seconds. Uh, and that's north, of course, north of the equator. And then west was west 100 degrees, 51 minutes and 41 seconds. Now that seems pretty straightforward, right? You can see everything on this chart. We can see from 100 to 101, and we can see from 43 almost up to the next to 44. But what will happen is on your test, you'll get a chart and it's going to look like this. It's going to be zoomed in really tight here. And the only thing you're going to see is maybe one or two of those lines. So 
they may, let me get this adjusted just right here. Uh, let's see here. Let me take this one off. I'm trying to get, okay, here we go. Just like that. Okay. So we can see the 101 and we can see 43 way over here. But we don't, we don't see 102. We don't see 44. And they may say, what are the coordinates of Rosebud? Well, now you've got to know that, well, this is 100. And one, but I'm not quite to 101 yet. So I'm going to have to go backwards and know that 100 is over here. And I'm going to have to add 100 plus however many it takes me to get here. And then go up. And then the same thing with the 43. Here's the 43 line of latitude. I'm going to go up 43 and over. So they'll try, try and trick you on the FAA exam and give you a small, small section of a sectional that's only going to have maybe one or two figures on it and you're going to have to know that well if I turn my head and I look at this right side up I know that the 102 uh, line of longitude is going to be this way so therefore the 101 is to the right and because this Rosebud Airport hasn't made it to 101 I must be on the 100, and, 100 degree parallel uh, excuse me longitude and I'm going to have to add the minutes and seconds to get here so that's something you're going to have to keep in mind. They're not going to give you a chart that has the whole thing with both top and bottom, left and right, of all the degrees on there. So that's important to know. Uh, again, 60 minutes between each um, degrees. So between 100 and 101, there's 60. And between 43 and 44, there's 60. And if you break those down into minutes, and then you break each minute down into seconds, that's how we come up to our north 44 and so on whatever this particular crosshair is on again we can do one really quick put it here on johnson airport right there and if you look up here it says north 44 22 minutes 90 seconds so if we go to the 44 here's 44 we come up 22 here's 10 20 1 and 2 i come over okay i'm good there it's actually 22.9, so that's almost 23, so it'll be right about there. Okay, that gets me to there. And then the 106, so again, I'm looking here, here's 106, here's 107. This is 106.43, so here's 106, 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, and it's about 43, so about almost half of the nether line. I come up and there I am. So that's pretty much, it's pretty simple once you understand the concept that everything starts with a degree, then it's a minute, then it's broken down by seconds. So when you see those long numbers, um, know that it's the degree first, north or south of the equator, the um, minute and then seconds by the west, east or west, and again, we're in the western part of the hemisphere, so we are, the uh, line of longitude is going to be west, so many degrees, so many minutes, so many seconds. Now, we're going to have a section where we go through the sample test, and we're going to show you those sample uh, test questions along with the supplement that you'll be issued when you go to take your exam. So it'll make even more sense when we actually show you how we got to the answer. These are just some examples. I wanted to pick some areas that didn't have a lot of clutter on them. So you could actually see the lines of uh, longitude and latitude. In the next section, when we talk about sectionals and lines of longitude, latitude, and uh, Latin long, we will actually go through the exam itself and get you to those answers to show you how uh, the answers were achieved. And also show you how they'll try and trick you with the multiple choice questions. Usually one answer is always way off. The other two are very close. And they may be off by just one term or maybe a number or a digit. So we want to make sure you understand how to answer those. And that section will be coming up here shortly.